here with uh, one of Norway's few IFBB pros, Ahmad Duki. How are you, sir? Good. Uh, it's really nice to be with you today. Yeah. yeah. You're uh, you're not competing. You're just uh, enjoying off season. Uh, not for a long time. Competing in uh, May, April, May next year. So starting soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, still, uh, still uh, going for 212, or are you yeah. going up? Still no, 212. Yeah. Maybe but in three, four years, maybe I'm going to yeah. open. If I want to go somewhere else, just open. <laughs> That's the long-term plan. Yeah, let's go. Eventually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I, I seen a lot of uh, like uh, videos on Instagram where you train with uh, Tommy, yeah. Thor Wilson. Is he your coach or do you just training? No, together? he's my coach. He's also my partner, training partner, and uh, uh, yeah. So we planning everything together. Okay. Yeah. So he helped me a lot from beginning. Also, uh, he helped me to get my pro card, and he helped me like to build to go from men's physique to 212 in oh. yeah 10 oh. months. That oh. took just 10 months with Tommy. Okay. So <laughs> so he has been with you all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of uh, men's physique, you started your journey in men's physique. Yeah. But <laughs> no, actually, last competition, what happened? I've been like uh, my size is big for men's physique, so I've been talking with the head judge. So he told me it's need little bit work. It's better if you can move to to 12. Because also classic physique, it's uh, the weight, it's uh, not enough for me. Yeah, and we start working with Tommy about that, and now we start to talk. And I took sixth place in London, so for a pro show, it's okay, not bad. Yeah. But you turned pro as a 212 athlete, not as a no, no, men's physique. No, men's physique, but when you get the your pro card, oh, okay. you can go uh, oh, okay. to I other... See. Uh, I see, I see, I see. Mm. But, but the, the plan were always bodybuilding? Yeah, from beginning. From the I beginning. love bodybuilding. I have this, you know, I have this uh, pictures about like old school bodybuilding. Okay. Since, yeah, yeah. So. Do you have any like uh, idol? Like, like, uh, like, um, like um, who is your favorite today? What to kind today. of what kind of physique do you like? Uh, now there is like Samson Dauda. So. This is the best, to be honest. But he is never in shape, hundred percent now. If he's, if he's in shape, still, still a little bit. Yeah, but he's amazing. He's like a rocket. He's just going up. Yeah. Yeah. You think he's gonna win the Olympia? Yeah, he's so close. He's so close. The size, the physique, the everything. He have everything. He's complete. Yeah, yeah it's very exciting. Yeah. Um, I like um, the way you and uh, Tommy train. It's like real hardcore, real intensive. Um, do you like that way of training, or have you ever trained like, like that, or is actually, it Tommy that taught you that? No, actually, it was hard in the beginning for me. Yeah. But uh, we plan from beginning. We wanna do like exactly same all the schools. So now we're training same way he been training also with Dorian Yates because he been training with Dorian Yates. Mm -hmm. So we're training same, always everything the same, but not same weight yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you ever take any time off from training? Yeah, I'm training just uh, five days. Okay, no more. No, no, I have two days off, nothing. Yeah. yeah. And short, uh, like uh, short sessions, like uh, one hour max, or how long? Uh, 50 minutes to one hour, yeah. just our okay. training. Yeah. That's it. Not, not more. Yeah. And and every muscle group once a week. Yeah. What What about eating? Are you Are you Do you have a big appetite? Yeah, actually, but uh, the thing is now, because I love what I'm doing, I love my diet. Yeah? Yeah, now, especially this year. This year, like like here, I've been with my friend yesterday. Tommy, do you want to go to KFC? I told him, we tried yesterday, it's enough. I need some rice. Because I feel that I need some rice. I love rice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So you're eating clean, like, all year round? Yeah, but I have, like, uh, now it's off-season, so I have, like, uh, two meals. I can eat whatever I whatever want. Whatever you want. Yeah, okay. like uh, Saturday and Wednesday. Yeah, but uh, when we start to ripping for competition, I keep just Saturdays and four weeks before the show, I don't have like nothing uh, junk food now. 
just clean. But uh, now in the in the off season, do you like count calories? Do you know know how yeah. how much you're eating? Yeah. And how much are you eating right now? No, it's not extremely crazy yet. I'm eating like. 4,000 to 5,000. Okay, I'll but, not that uh, bad. But when I want to go like up, up, like, I'm going like 6,000. That's, yeah, I feel it's, it's hard, man. It's not easy, yeah. It's that's, hard. that's the hardest part, I and, guess. Yeah, and especially for me, because I, but it's working. Because yeah. I start men's physique, you know. And now I'm looking to all my friends in men's physique like a bro. I have size more than them, so the way we're doing now, it's working. It's working great, actually. Yeah. And I have in my picture and on Instagram, it's big different. Like each year, like I'm going, like I'm becoming bitter and bitter and bitter. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, how much are, are you weighing right now? Now uh, I'm still a hundred. Hundred? Yeah. Now, yeah. now okay. I'm hundred. Yeah. yeah. Last off season, uh, I've been hundred. 115. At the heaviest? Heaviest, yeah. yeah. 115, 116. Ah, okay. And in competition shape? Or you like uh, right below 96 kilos? or? Uh, I should be max or 96.1. Yeah. But is that a problem to get there or is it. No, like no, no. Because uh, Tommy's uh, understand my body exactly. So he know how I can go down, he know how I can keep my weight. So I actually, I don't have a problem with this. No? No? Okay. It's good. Yeah. But I'm losing the shape when I'm 110. So you can see like <laughs> a little bit like uh, a little bit puffy. Yeah. But this year he said oh, no, we are not allowed to do this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So how long? How long are, are, are you are, are you prepping? When when do you start your prep? How many months before the competition? Uh, like a prep for the competition. I need. Uh, 14 to 18 weeks. Okay. Yeah. I start like this. Yeah. Last year that took 18 weeks exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried like uh, like the peak week is uh, like essential to get in to get the last kind of con con condition before the stage? But have you tried a lot of different things? No, actually, especially for athletes, you should have someone you trust. Because last last month or last six weeks you are off, you are tired, the diet, your brain. So for me, I'm just following what Tommy said. I don't listen to anyone. I don't even look to my body. He looking to my body and he decides I should do this and this and this and this enough for me. Because I trust what he what he's doing, like, yeah. like thousand percent. So I don't have. I should think or ask other people because I have everything. And you trust Tommy 100%? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. Yeah. Cool. With everything, with food, with diet, what I should do, how I should do, uh, everything. And I'm lucky to have Tommy, you know. It's hard to find someone you trust. It's hard, it's hard to find someone uh, uh, lyric really clear with you. He, he, he like uh, to see you like in Olympia stage. And I'm lucky to, to, to have Tommy. Now, right before the competition, do you do like a heavy carb up after the weigh-in or yeah. a real, real heavy one? Uh, like uh, I'm going to a thousand grams wow. a day. A day? A day. Like I'm, I'm not thousand gram carbs, thousand gram like rice or, yeah, yeah, yeah. or thousand two hundred. Yeah. That's a lot. And I don't feel tired. I'm just starting. Start filling up and filling up. And sometimes I'm going two days. Sometimes three days. Yeah. And uh, last competition, like uh, second day, I went to 1,200 grams. Just rice. Forgot about the chicken and meat and the veggies. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just, it was just rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So, uh, which which competition do you? Do you think was your best look so far? Was it the last competition? Now yeah, all, my... No, I guess the last one because every year I am I improve something new. Yeah. 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 So this uh, the thing. I don't want to beat anyone. I want to beat myself every year. And this uh, the mentality we work about. Okay, all the people is good. All the people working hard. But my goal every year to be better, better than like here before. Yeah. And yeah. To be honest, that's working. Like with the size, with the shape, with the hardness, and everything. So 
we're looking forward to next one how we're gonna uh, how my chef is gonna be. Yeah, yeah. What's your like highest goal? Is it the Olympia stage? That is like everything. Every, everyone dreaming to go to Olympia stage, and I have, I I'm, I believe that with Tommy, that's not far. Because you know you're working hard, you follow your diet. But it's so important to have someone understand your body and know exactly what, what he should do for you. Yeah. And with Tommy, no, it's not far. I, I feel that it's a close. Maybe it's need a little bit time, but yeah, it's coming soon. Yeah. And today you are standing in the Bionic Gorilla stand. Yeah. Is that a new sponsor or? No, no. Actually, the idea is, you know, in this sport. Uh, like so on the supplements world now it's hard to find something like uh, you believe it like you really believe it with Tommy I'm, I'm using his supplements like now since we start since I start with him so I believe like this supplements and uh, for me maybe it's best brand I use so the idea it was okay Tommy have Tommy nutrition in uh, Norway and I want to do something for myself in Sweden because I have uh, my partner here in Sweden. So it was just to uh, have Tommy nutrition supplements in Sweden. So we start the Bionic Gorilla. So it's belong to me. It's your company? Yeah. Oh, cool. And yeah, and uh, a lot of people, they ask Tommy to have his product, but I'm lucky he gave it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah here oh. in Sweden. So cool. So, so Bionic Gorilla, is it like a, a Swedish company or a Norwegian company? No, it's a Swedish it's company, Swedish. but we have just a uh, Tommy Nutrition brand. I see. We I are see. the only company who have Tommy Nutrition brand, and I don't have other other stuff from other companies. I see. Yeah. Do you have like a, a, a store, or is it yes. just web? You online, store? online yeah. store. Oh, online. Yeah. Online store. Okay. And here in Sweden, and uh, my partner working really hard on it. We start like uh, three months ago, so we're working now on marketing how people. Uh, because you know people they don't know the brand yet here yeah. and all, all, all also the people they should have something they trust you know because you know it's uh, nutrition you know something like food so we want something clean and uh, we're working on that now we have like everything like from metal cena they check everything yeah and uh, the good thing the factory it's here it's not in Poland or in Hungary oh, okay, so everything you see it in the recipe it's inside because you know how how much they are like strict with this mm. so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm lucky now to, to have this product uh, here and we're looking forward to to make yeah to make this company growing more so I'm so happy for you yeah thank you very much very, thank very you. exciting so how how long before we see you on the heavy uh, on the in the in the open men's open bodybuilding? Like for me, how long yeah. does it take? What do you think? Three, three, three years. years. Three years. Three years. Hope so. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I know it's hard, but it's it's goal. You know, it's a in the beginning it's a it's a dream, but the dream becoming goal. And in the end, if you're working hard, you reach the goal. Yeah. So for me, in the beginning, I should go to Olympia stage, maybe in two years or next year, nobody knows. Mm. And after that, in three years, I should be open and go to Olympia stage again. And open. Do you ever, do you ever like wake up in the morning and, and uh, don't have that itch, that m motivation, or is it always there to go to the gym to like grind and uh, eat your food and everything? No, actually, it's, uh, to be honest with you, it's always there, because uh, it's, uh, it's my life, you know. it's my life, and uh, I love gym, I, I, I had accident like before, like, almost uh, 15 years, so I lost uh, my, my, my muscles here, my foot, and I did like surgery here, Oh, I. so yeah. What happened? This uh, car accident. Oh, so all the doctors they said that time I have really big a problem because uh, I have the problem here and this side too here. Oh yeah. shit! So it's hard even to walk. But my my, my dad have this mentality. No, 
this this uh, the body can't fix itself, but it's need to work. So he starts send, sending me to gym with my brother when I've been like young. And after that, yeah, everything worked well. You know, the doctors they are wrong. Now I have no problem. I'm walking. I'm training and I'm doing everything. I'm training heavy weight, super heavy weight. When you started training, did you did you get results fast? Did you grow grow faster than the other the others? Uh, yes, some boy, yeah. yeah. But in my beginning it was really a bit hard because it was like uh, physiotherapist in the beginning because my problem. Yeah, yeah, of course. But of course. when I start real training like uh, bodybuilding, yeah. I get a yeah, good good result. I I guess I have okay genetics. Yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm lucky. Yeah. I yeah. guess most pro pros do. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I get my bro card from uh, first am amateur competition. Yeah, really? From first one. Oh my god. I just went to compete and uh, Tommy been with me. <laughs> the first time you competed. And I remember <laughs> my name, I put my name in uh, men's physique and classic physique. So I went to compete in men's physique and I went down to fix the tan because yeah. classic physique after men's physique. And they called me, oh, where are you? She come, there is overall. I don't, I, don't need, I don't know even what's overall mean. Just I want to fix my tan, be, be ready for a classic. Yeah. So Tommy, he been running after me. Oh, no, you should come, it's overall. And I went to overall and we've been like an overall, uh, I remember maybe nine or 12. It was big contest. We've been oh like, we we've been in Denmark, uh, men's physique six, uh, 67 person that wow. time, 2019 in October. Yeah. Yeah. And suddenly uh, they said my number and they said my name. So I looked at Tommy, what does that mean? <laughs> Just go get your bro card. <laughs> okay. And even I've been when they said my uh, number and I've been doing like this. I'm waiting someone else to go. It's me. Yeah, Tommy said, just go. It's you. So I get my bro card. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. But did you ever compete like a pro in men's physique? Yeah, like uh, four competitions after. Okay. But after that, my size get big. Yeah. And I guess you 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 like the. Bodybuilding poses, yeah, better, better. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Like for about the pose, I know nothing about men's physique posing. So when I put my name uh, in that convention 2019, amateur, yeah. I put not my name just a classic. And Tommy said he put it no, but also classic. And I have the short for you, for uh, sorry for men's physique. Yeah. And I know nothing about the pose. And before 15 minutes before stage, <laughs> he started teaching me how men's physique posing. <laughs> I know. I, Literally, I know nothing about men's physique and what men's physique means. Because my, all, everything I think about it, it's bodybuilding. I love bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he, he teach me the balls and even the judges. He said he's good and he have really good physique and and he deserve his uh, his broker. But he should work more in posing for men's physique. And Tommy told him, I teach him like ten minutes ago how to pose for men's physique. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. yeah, I'm really looking forward to to follow your journey. Your journey. Thank you very much. And guys, the, this uh, the thing you're working now in Norway and make how people like because uh, you know to make people understand more about this sport. I really appreciate this work and. Uh, um, uh, what I can say, I'm, I'm really like, I feel uh, this really great job. I'm looking forward to see you always gr also growing more and more and more. Thank you. Because really, the, the picture, you show people the picture about this sport, it's really nice, uh, nice thing. Thank you. So really appreciate, really I appreciate what, what you're doing and I'm really glad to have you also in Norway. Because really, we need people like you. There. Thank yeah. you. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.